come to Lesson 129 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 129. Beyond this world, there is a world I want. Beyond this world, there is a world I want. This is the thought that follows from the one we practiced yesterday. And yesterday was Lesson 128. The world I see holds nothing that I want. You cannot stop with the idea the world is worthless, for unless you see that there is something else to hope for, you will only be depressed. Our emphasis is not on giving up the world, but on exchanging it for what is far more satisfying, filled with joy, and capable of offering you peace. Think you this world can offer that to you? It might be worth a little time to think once more about the value of this world. <laughs> Perhaps you will concede there is no loss in letting go all thought of value here. The world you see is merciless indeed, unstable, cruel, unconcerned with you, quick to avenge, and pitiless with hate. It gives but to rescind and takes away all things that you have cherished for a while. No lasting love is found, for none is here. This is the world of time where all things end. Is it a loss to find a world instead where losing is impossible, where love endures forever, hate cannot exist, and vengeance has no meaning? Is it loss to find all things you really want and know they have no ending and they will remain exactly as you want them throughout time? Yet even they will be exchanged at last for what we cannot speak of. For you go from there to where words fail entirely, into a silence where the language is unspoken and yet surely understood. Communication, unambiguous and plain as day, remains unlimited for all eternity. And God himself speaks to his son as his son speaks to him. Their language has no words for what they say cannot be symbolized. Their knowledge is direct and wholly shared and wholly one. How far away from this are you who stay bound to this world? And yet how near are you when you exchange it for the world you want? Now is the last step certain. Now you stand an instant space away from timelessness. Here can you but look forward, never back to see again the world you do not want. Here's the world that comes to take its place. As you unbind your mind from little things the world sets forth to keep you prisoner. Value them not, and they will disappear. Esteem them and they will seem real to you. Such is the choice. What loss can be for you in choosing not to value nothingness? This world holds nothing that you really want, but what you want, but what you choose instead, you want indeed. Let it be given you today. It waits but for your choosing it, to take the place of all the things you seek, but do not want. Practice your willingness to make this change 10 minutes in the morning and at night and once more in between. Begin with this. Beyond this world, there is a world I want. I choose to see that world instead of this, for here is nothing that I really want. Then close your eyes upon the world you see and in the silent darkness, watch the lights that are not of this world, light one by one, until where one begins, another ends, loses all meaning as they blend in one. Today, the lights of heaven bend to you, to shine upon your eyelids as you rest beyond the world of darkness. 
here's the light your eyes cannot behold. And yet your mind can see it plainly and can understand. A day of grace is given you today. And we give thanks. This day we realize that what you feared to lose was only loss. Now do we understand that there is no loss. For we have seen its opposite at last. And we are grateful that the choice is made. Remember your decision hourly and take a moment to confirm your choice by laying by whatever thoughts you have and dwelling briefly only upon this. The world I see holds nothing that I want. Beyond this world, there is a world I want. That's lesson 129. Beyond this world, there is a world I want. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.